What makes things burn? Fire is all around you. Even though it's really, really dangerous, when it's controlled, it's very, very useful. For example, use fire to cook your food and even to give you light and to light candles and everything. But even though fire is so dangerous, it's still so useful for humans. But how does what's the what's the science behind fire? What's the chemistry behind things burning? Well, in this episode, I'm gonna take you behind the science of fire and combustion and tell you more about the amazing science of how fire burns things. Let's go! Now, to get behind the science of fire and how things burn, we first have to explore the fire triangle. The fire triangle is kind of like a diagram or visual that helps you see what it takes to make a fire and what elements are required in order for a fire to burn. Well, it has three sides. This triangle has three sides. On one of the sides, it says fuel. The other side is oxygen, and the other side is heat. Now, why these three things? Well, first, for a fire to happen, you need fuel. And this fuel can be anything from gas to wood to even even like uh, natural gas and other flammable items. And this is very important because that's what where the chemical reaction of fire and combustion takes place. Next, you need oxygen. Oxygen as a gas is found everywhere on Earth, and you can just breathe it in. But this oxygen is very important for combustion because of oxidation, which is when those molecules combine into oxygen atoms and get released into the air. And last but not the least, you need heat. Heat can be caused by anything like the striker box of a match or even the sun. And this heat is very important because that's what sparks up the fire. Now, these three things are required for a fire to happen. And if any of these three things are taken away, the fire will be extinguished. That's why people use water on fires to prevent the, prevent the heat from spreading or sometimes even cover up a fire to extinguish it. And these are all beca- this is all because of this fire triangle. And this is what causes fires to form. And these three things are required for fires to form. Now, why do things burn, and what happens when things burn? Well, this is all thanks to combustion. Combustion is the chemical reaction where something plus heat and this fire equals a large output of energy. Let's break it down a bit. Before we get into more fiery science, I just want to remind you to subscribe to this channel below. Please subscribe and get me closer to reaching the goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also leave a like on this video. Thank you so much. And now let's get back to the science. Well, what is combustion? Well, combustion is when a chemical process where something plus oxygen equals a large output of heat and a few other things. Now, if you were to write a chemical equation, it would be something let's just say coal plus oxygen equals other things like heat and energy but it also produces other things like carbon dioxide which is coal and other all these other living materials like wood are all made of carbon and when it bonds with oxygen it creates carbon dioxide so we have different outputs of it including energy carbon dioxide and some other waste things even water vapor can be formed through a fire. I know that sounds pretty cool, right? Even though the fire is so hot, one of the byproducts of this reaction is water vapor, especially with burning things like hydrogen. And all of this thing is thanks to combustion, because combustion is what helps fires happen. And this entire chemical process causes things to burn. And that's why you see ashes, those just leftover waste from this chemical reaction. But when you add this oxygen and the fuel and even the heat, that will create this giant reaction which produces energy, light, and sometimes even sound. That is combustion, and that is why things burn. It's really cool, right? So many things going on behind the science of fire that we use for cooking every single day. Even though fire is really extremely dangerous, it can still be controlled and be used for amazing things like rockets that take to the skies. It's so amazing. All right, let's review what we learned in this fiery episode. In this episode, we learned that fire is is caused by the fire triangle. And the three elements of the fire triangle are fuel, heat, and oxygen. And these are all important in causing fires. 
The fire is mostly caused by a chemical reaction called combustion. Combustion is when some fuel plus oxygen and that outputs uh, different gases and other things, but most importantly, it outputs energy and other things, including carbon dioxide and water vapor. And this is all thanks to this combustion reaction is why we have fires. Even though they're so dangerous when you contain them, they're used for a lot of things like cooking and even just making your room smell good with candles. Fire is very useful, even though it's dangerous, and humans have found a way to harness fire for good. It is so amazing to think that so much science is behind all this. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Spectacular Science. Spectacular Science is produced and hosted by me, Akshay J. Raman. Our theme song and additional music are by Charan Ramachandran. Please visit my podcast website, SpectacularSci.com, to find interactive activities, articles, and blog posts. That's SpectacularSci.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this podcast wherever you're listening right now. It really encourages me, and you'll be up to date on all the new episodes. Subscribe and share this podcast with your friends and family. Thank you so much. Do you have a science question you want answered on a Spectacular Science episode? Well, if you do, head over to SpectacularSci.com slash contact to send me your amazing science questions. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode of Spectacular Science next week. Keep thinking about science.